So when we're doing the image station, um, you don't have to solve all the problems if you don't want to. You get to choose. You can ask me questions, or you can change your mind about the interview at any time. If you don't want to do it, just let me know, okay? Um, you ready to start? So here's our first thing I'm going to ask you to do. Let's move this over here for right now. So I have some blue cubes here. And I'm wondering, can you tell me how many cubes there are? Of course. It's like leaning on its little top there, huh? Yeah. Can you write that number down for me on this piece of paper? Could you write down the number 74 to find the first problem? My cards are all in order. Okay. So this part of the number right here, does it have anything to do with what you counted over here? Tell me about that. Does the number has a free in the blocks have a free with the numbers? Gotcha, so the number has a three. So my question for you is and the blocks have a three. What about this part of the number? Does this part of the number have anything to do with what you counted over here? Because this has the zero part. We're going to do one more and part together. Are you ready? There's only one block and so four sides of the block. And okay. something different because that one has a hole in it. Oh, okay. And it looks like a zero because it's hard. It looks like a zero. See just how you're thinking about so that. So on this card, we have these little squares. And so your teacher has a little squares. Do you see that? There are 10 more squares. Okay. So here's what we're going to do next. Let's clean these blue cubes up. Good. And put them in here. All right. So this time, we've got some red cubes. We're going to do something a little bit different. For the red cubes, I want you to put 10 cubes in this cup and 10 cubes in this cup. You can pull it apart, yeah. Sorry about that. Okay, so we have 10 cubes in here, 10 cubes in here, right? That makes 20. It does, okay, and we have some extra cubes here. How many cubes do you have all together? Okay, and how did you get 26? Because they were in the bag, and I didn't know how much they were, so I counted them. You counted them, and how, you, I saw you count the 6, and where did you get the 20 from? I got the 20 from the cups. Mm, okay, and that made 26 altogether. Could you write that number down for me on the paper? Oh, so the number was 26. Okay. So can, does this part of your number here have anything to do with what you did over here? Because one of them... Oh, I already did. <laughs> so is this a zero or is this a six? Zero. Zero. So the number was 26. Can you write the number 26? Oh, you can use the marker. That way it'll look.
I'm really bad at writing things. That's a great six you just wrote there. So tell me about this. Does this number here have anything to do with the cubes over here? Because there's six. <laughs> oh, there's six there. Okay. Well, what about this part of the number? Does this part of the number have anything to do with the cubes that you can Because the 20s have one thing with the zeros. Say, say that again. The 20s have... The 20s have a one thing in common with the zeros. I think I heard you. Can you count that out? There's 13. So we got out 13. How much might it be? So where, where do you see this too? Can you t tell me about that? Because there's... There's some two... There's all, when I counted them, mm -hmm. there was just two in here before when I counted them. Yeah. I remember that. Two in there. Okay. So now we have 26 here, you told me, right? Could you change this and make it so there was 16? What would you do? Okay. I'll just take some. Can I just dump them all Absolutely. out? Absolutely, you do however you want, yep. So let's get these out of the way. So now you have 16 there. Let's pretend that I, you have your 16, and let's pretend that I give you 25 more. Do you know how many you'd have then? How many? That's great. Thank you, Anne. 25 plus 16. Wait. Can I do this? Sure. 51, 52, 53, 54. Would you count out loud, sir? Would you count out loud so I can hear what you're saying? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, how many would you have? Mm, maybe 58? Why 58? Is that just what it feels like it would be? Yeah, that's a good thought. It's a good thought. It's a big number, huh? All right. Let's go on to the next part. Now we're going to do some story problems, okay? Does that sound okay? I want to. Okay. It's not going to come back. Just dump them all in there. Do you want to see this stuff? Wow. Let's get this out of the way. So for our story problems, um, you can solve them mentally, like you just were solving the last one. You want to use your brain. You can use your fingers. You can use the marker and the paper. Or you can use um, these cubes if you'd like. Do these here. We have some of them that are singles, and we have some of these that are grouped together like this too. You can use these as well if you'd like. And we'll leave those right there if you don't have really much space on the table for them, but you can use them if you'd like. But you don't have to if you don't want to. You can solve it however you'd like, okay? I can write on there. You can write on there however you'd like. Yep. You ready for the first problem? So your teacher has four new boxes of markers. There are ten markers in each box. How many new markers does she have? Mm, How did you get 40? So she has a big bag that has 30 pretzels. 
and she wants to put them in little snowballs. Okay. So how'd you know 40? Because if there's four tens, then it makes 40 because it just makes it. Okay. All right, how about this then? What if your teacher had 13 new boxes of markers and there were still 10 markers in each box? How many new markers would she have? Maybe 78. Why 78? No, I just want 70. Just, just 70. 70, okay. Tell me why 70. Because the tens make 70. The tens make 70? Um, can you say more about that? How do you know the tens would make 70? Because the tens, they have something to do with all of the numbers that are after before. No, that are after. So some of the, the number that's before it, and it has a zero, and the other numbers don't. I see. So the tens, tens have the zero after it, but the other numbers don't. Thanks for explaining that to me. I see just how you're thinking about that. Okay. We have another problem here. Not about markers. This one, this problem, is about pretzels. And we're going to pretend that your teacher has a lot of pretzels, and she's going to try and put those pretzels into smaller bags. So she wants to put them in smaller bags, okay? So the problem goes like this. Your teacher has 30 pretzels. She wants to put the pretzels in snack bags, so there are 10 pretzels in each. How many snack bags can she make? Mm. It says 10 there, so it's just 3. Okay, write it down. Is that, is, you th is that your answer? So you think she can make 10? Tell me why you think she can make 10. Because there's 10 pretzels and you could put one in each. Well, I think she has 30 pretzels. What if she had 30 pretzels and she wanted to put 10 in each bag? 42. Can you tell me how you counted 42? I don't really know this. Don't really know this one? You would you like to skip this one? That's no problem at all. Great. Okay, so for the next part of our interview, I'm going to show you some pictures of uh, small squares. And we're going to try and figure out how many small squares are on there. So let's look at the first one together. You, don't, you can put the lid on the marker. You won't need the marker for the, this. You mind putting the lid on the marker for me? There you go. Did you just know this part was two without the We put the lid on it. No. Can I put You can put that right there, yeah. But we're not going to draw on these, so let me just take the marker from you. There you go. Okay, so let's look at this one together. So this says, you know, that some of you notice that some squares are touching and others are not touching. Can you show me two squares that are touching? Yeah, good, good. I see that right there. How many squares are touching in this group right here? Ten. Okay, so how many small squares are on this whole card? And how did you get 13? Because there's 3 here. And where did 13 yeah. come from? 13 came from here. And try this one next. 10 and 13 have zeros. 10 and 13 have zeros. Can you say more about that? No. No? 13 doesn't have zero. 13 doesn't have a zero, I got you, but 10 does. So how did you know thirteen was? How did you know thirteen small squares were on this card? Because there's some here, and there's a lot here. And that made thirteen. Okay, let's try this. How about this card? How many small squares were on this one? Two. Well, how, including all of these small squares that are touching two. Okay, so how many all together? Forty-two. And how'd you get forty-two? What are we going to do? <laughs> You're going to tell me how you knew this was 42. How did you know there was 42 there? Because there's, t there's only one big line here, and there's 
two that are split together. Okay, and where did the 40, you said, the, w tell, tell me how you got the 40. Because I already told you. <laughs> Will you tell me again? Sometimes I'm not, I have to ask a lot of questions to understand. There's tens in all of these numbers mm -hmm. at the end. And so you knew this was 40? Yeah, that's 40 and this is 42. Now I see, now I see. Show me which one you looked at and what numbers you said. Okay, let's try this one. Let me think about this one, Tim. How many small squares are on this one? Four. We're going to try and count. Even the ones that are touching. That's 20. 30, 40. 50, 54. I see just how you did that. Thank you for counting out loud. Four. How about this one? How many small squares are on this card? That was our last card. Two. And so I just want to tell you thank yeah. you for coming. There is 16. How did you get 16? No, not 16. Not 16. How did you get 12? Because I could count them. And there was 12 on this paper, so I knew, just knew that there was 12. Did you count these as well, or just these over here? I guess. Can you count all of them? Tell me how many would be there. 10. Twenty-two, and did you, when you got you said ten. What did you say when you got here? What count did you say? Eleven. Eleven. I see. Just how you did that. Why do you do C for that? I just wrote it really fast. <laughs> it looks like a Z, but it's really a two. All right. How many small squares are on this card? Small. All of them. All of the squares together. Yeah, we're, we're calling all of these small squares. And you counted out loud, I heard just how you did that. Thank you. You ready for a, a, a big one? Right, how many squares are on this card? Oh my gosh. <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90. Wait, I forgot where I... 10, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100, no, 1,000, infinity, infinity, there's infinity on here. There's infinity? Can you say more about that? Tell me more. Infinity, do you know how you write infinity? No, do you, can you show me? Oh yeah. Show me on this piece of paper. Sideways eight. A sideways eight? That's pretty cool. So what does that mean? It's a sign. For what? It's a number sign for infinity. And what does infinity mean? Infinity is the biggest number. The it comes before zero. It comes before zero? It's the last number. Oh, the last number. Is there a number that's bigger than infinity? Yeah. What's that? Infinity and nine. Infinity and nine? Is there a number that's bigger than infinity and nine? No. That's it? No. Nothing's bigger than infinity and nine? No. What about infinity and ten? No, that doesn't exist. That doesn't exist? <laughs> I, I hear you. I hear you. Okay. Well, we are all done. Thank you so much for your help today and for showing me the infinity symbol. That's pretty neat. Right on.